Welcome back, guys. My name is Stephen, and today I'll be reading Mark chapter 7. Then the Pharisees and some of the scribes came together to him, having come from Jerusalem. Now, when they saw some of the disciples eating bread with the file that is what unwashed hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they wash their hands in a special way, holding the tradition of the elders. When they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash and there are many other things which they receive and hold like the washing of cups pitchers copper vessels and couches then the pharisees and scribes asked him why do your disciples not walk according to the tradition of the elders but eat bread with unwashed hands he answered and said to them well did Isaiah prophet prophesied of you hypocrites as it is written this People honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold a tradition of men. The washing of pitchers and cups and many other such things you do. He said to them, All too well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your tradition. For Moses says, Honor your father and your mother, and he who curses his mother or father, let him be put to death. But you say, If a man sets with father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is Corbin. That is a gift to God. Then you no longer let him do anything for his father or his mother, making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which you have handed down, and many such things you do. When he had called all the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear me, everyone, and understand there is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him, but the things which come out of him him those who are the things that defile a man if anyone has ears to hear let him hear when he enter a house away from the crowd his disciples asked him concerning the parable so he said to them are you thus without understanding also do you not perceive that whatever enters a man from the outside cannot defile him because if it is not entered through the heart but his stomach is eliminated thus purifying all foods and he said what comes out of a man that defiles a man from for what is within out of the man's heart proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornication, murderers, thieves, conventionists, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile a man. From there he arose and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house and wanting no one to know it, but he could not be hidden. For a woman who is young, the daughter had an unclean spirit, heard about him, and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she kept asking him to cast a demon out of her daughter. But Jesus said to him, Let the child be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dog. And she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, even yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For this saying, Go your way. The demon had gone out of your daughter. And when she has come to her house, she found a demon gone out and her daughter lying on the bed. Again, departing from the region of Tyre and Sidon, he came through the midst of the region of Decapolis to the city, Sea of Galilee. When they brought to him one who was deaf and had an impediment in the speech, and they begged him to put his hand on him. And he took him aside from the multitude and put his fingers to his ear, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then, looking up in heaven, he signed and said to him, F. Fatata. That is being open. Immediately his eyes were open, and the impediment of his tongue was loosened, and he spoke plainly. Then he commanded them that they should not tell no one. But the more he commanded them, the more wildly they proclaimed, and they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He makes both deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Mark chapter 7. See you in Mark chapter 8.